the Beach FM Business Lunch Show, brought to you by Placemakers, Kapiti and Orofenua. Together, we're building New Zealand. Welcome back to the Business Lunch Show on Beach FM 106.3. Now, it, let's welcome back to the show our very first guest. That was about 10 weeks ago and about 80 guests ago, but Benjamin Playford from Ben's Buns. G'day, Ben. Yeah, mate. How are you? I'm very well. How are you doing, mate? Yeah, good, thank you. I can't believe that it's 10 weeks ago. It seemed like yesterday. I know, mate. I know. It was uh, early days. You know, we just started the show. You, we were all well into lockdown, um, and you were tucked away at home. So how's life been since? Uh, a lot different. Um, <laughs> getting Still getting used to having to wake up at a uh, stupid o'clock in the morning again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but, yeah, no, it's good. We're, we're nice and busy. Um, everything's back to... Well, what you could consider the new normal. Yes. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, no, the new normal or whatever you want to call it, it is these days. But, um, yeah, you are back into it, mate. But uh, I want to talk about that time. Did you – a lot of people have, uh, you know, used the, the lockdown as a bit of a refresher. I know you would do a holiday before uh, yeah. lockdown. You'd finally worked yourself into into a position. But did you, did you take the time to chill, mate, or was it um, all guns blazing and creating in the background? Uh, certainly the first two two to three weeks, it was feed up, uh, beers every day and treating it like I was on an island in the sun. Nice. Um, but then, then, you know, you sort of think, oh, I've got all this time, I've got all this energy, I might as well put it to use. Yeah. Um, and came up with a few new ideas and a few, a few new business plans. Yeah. Yeah, mate. Um, it, it seems to be there's a, a different creation every day at this time. Yeah, I know. I need to cut back on that a little bit because uh, I'm going to run out of ideas soon. <laughs> People are getting used to the new things, so we'll we'll try cut it back a little bit of the new products and let people enjoy it, uh, be able to get their tastes in, um, and, and go from there. But yeah, I've certainly got a few more up in the sleeve. Awesome. Well, they're looking delicious on on Facebook. Hey, mate. Um, you. you it was a time we've talked about the refreshing, but did did you have to adapt at all? I mean, is it are you still still a baker and and you're getting everything done, or or did you pivot the business in in any way, uh, like a, 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 um you know bringing on new systems or anything like like that? Uh, well, we throughout the as soon as we we're allowed to open in level three, open in quotation marks, um, <laughs> we were doing deliveries so people could put an order in online. Um, and we would deliver it fresh to their door, um, which we're still offering uh, for Wednesdays. Um, so that was a whole new thing for me. Um, certainly I've never had to be behind the scenes and doing the computer work as far as taking orders and, and making sure that all works fine. Um, so that, that was certainly a challenging experience, and especially as soon as Level 2 hit, we were still getting quite a few orders coming in um, for deliveries as well as the shop being open and that was a real real struggle um, to wrap my head around and get used to but we're, we've we've got a, everything in motion now and things seem to be going smoothly touch wood and uh, <laughs> yeah hope that continues on that way awesome mate well you just seem like such an admin person anyway yeah strange strange uh, <laughs> hey mate I know it has been a time of local supporting local and and you know you've been posting up um, of other businesses in, in the community just like they have been doing for you so just tell me how important this time and special this time was that community outreach and support oh it's been fantastic and I think this as bad as this whole COVID thing has been, it's really put into perspective into a lot of people's eyes about how important it is to support local. Um, all of our customers, you know, we're seeing heaps of new customers as well that would normally get their products from the supermarket. Um, a lot of more local businesses are happier to um, sort of try join forces a bit and support each other a lot more, whereas before this, it was almost a um, really doggy dog world sort of thing. Yep. Um, but yeah, it's been fantastic. Everybody you talk to in, in the business world is just, you know, absolutely gunning for you to succeed. And um, everyone wants to sort of collab a little bit. We've got a few more collabs coming up, um, mixing our products with someone else's product. Uh, I think that's certainly the way to go in the future as well. Um, yeah, it's really great to be able to support another local business 
Um, so we love doing that any time we can. Absolutely, mate. Hey, and um, the more the more businesses I've talked to, the more Facebook pages I've liked, and the more I've seen the crossover from all all the the people that I've talked to, which has been absolutely fantastic. So you've been uh, doing a, a bit of collab with um, the Good Food Society. Um, now tell me, they uh, I believe won a, high, um, a Toyota Highlander for a year um, with Toyota Rutherford and Bond. Um, are you gonna you know call in any favors to use that? Oh, I try. I, I did enter that competition. Oh. Uh, so I, w- I was one of the unlucky ones, I guess, that didn't win it. Um, but I'm, I've certainly been talking to Matt and asked him if I could take it for a little cruise. <laughs> nice one. Uh, <laughs> awesome. Yeah, no, teaming up with him has been great. Um, I've always wanted to introduce a low and slow um, meat to one of our pies. Yeah. Because uh, one of my hobbies that I do when I'm not working. Um, but I never wanted to be the one having to smoke the meat um, for, for it because I didn't want the hobby to turn into a job. Yeah. Uh, so it's been great teaming up with him and, you know, the product that we get from him is just constantly perfect. Oh, wow. Excellent stuff, mate. Hey, I've always I've always enjoyed the delicacies. It's been a while since I've come in, so it, it's definitely June, mate. But um, what what should people uh, look out for on the menu? Because I know you keep on adding, and I know you you did say that uh, you might calm it down. But what have been some of your favourites that you produced over this time? Uh, the smoked beef and cheese pie that we're getting the meat from the Good Food Society. That one. <laughs> I've lo- I'm looking at it right now. It looks gorgeous. Yeah, punches you in the face with flavour. It's it's great. Um, so that's right up there, along with our jalapeno and cream cheese um, croissants. Amazing. Um, it's, it's just the right, for me, it's certainly just the right amount of spice to have in something. Yep. It's not too much that you can't taste all the other flavours, but you get the nice buttery flavour from the croissants, the cheesy cream cheese, and then that jalapeno bite at the end. Um <sighs> So that's right up there with one of my favourites. And we're trying to come up with a few different um, breads and eventually we're going to have to look at just getting a bigger pie warmer because we've got so many ideas for new pies, but we've just got nowhere to put them. Hey, mate, you keep on going at this route. That uh, little shop of yours might need a bigger shop of yours. Yeah, yeah, that's that's certainly on the radar. Um, We just keep missing out or not hearing about the perfect location because right. there's no way we want to leave Parapara Umu Beach. No That's certainly home to us, so we'll be staying there for as long as we possibly can, but if a bigger premises comes up, you can guarantee we'll be moving in there. Well, anyone listening, I know there's a few real estate agents that uh, listen to the show, so yep, there's your there's your hunt for Ben. Uh, find him the premises because he ain't leaving Parapara Beach and we won't, we don't wouldn't want him to either. So, mate, lastly, as we always do, and I know we've done it before, but where can people find you? How can they get in touch? Uh, find easiest way to find us is just come out, come on down, go yes. to Parapara Parapara Umu Beach on McLean Street. Um, we're right on the beach end. Uh, otherwise, you can. Find us on Facebook, Ben's Buns NZ, or uh, we've got our website, www.bensbuns.co.nz. And what are the opening hours down there, Ben? Uh, if you're after pies, then it's 6.30am till 3 o'clock most days. On the weekends, we usually close at 2. Um, but if you're after bread or slices, you can come in from 3am and we will have them for you. <laughs> oh, well, you're a legend, mate, and I'm going to come and see you before our broadcast down at um, the domain tomorrow. So, appreciate your time, mate. Go well. Uh, your first guest, 80, 80th guest, let, let's get you um, in the hundreds as well, mate. Look forward to catching up. That oh, sounds good. Uh, lastly, can I just say a big, massive thank you to the Kapiti community for all the support that they've been giving us. Um, it's been absolutely overwhelming. And without their support, we would not be able to operate. And a massive thank you to my staff. If they're listening, which they've just been working their butts off. Um, and without them, I wouldn't be functioning right now. So, <laughs> here, here. thank you. Here, here. Um, thanks, mate. I appreciate your time. Yeah, we'll catch up soon. Awesome. Be good to see you.